Well, during the pandemic, well, because of the social distancing policy, and I think that made people put the people part away, not only in terms of um, physical distance, but also like emotional distance or um, mental distance. Yeah, there were no interaction like physically during COVID. It was really hard to meet people outside or even inside. We had a policy that we cannot meet people more than four or three uh, in the same space. Because I had like limited time before I left to the United States. So I had only one year. So I wanted to really meet my friends and my families um, as many as possible. Because I knew that I will I might never kind of come back to Korea or like because of COVID, it, it's going to be hard to come back or I don't know when can I come back. So yeah, it was really hard and I was completely isolated and I didn't, I couldn't do anything and it was hard to get a job as well or like any hobbies or even go to academic or yeah, it was so hard to do many, many things, even going to the gym or something else. So I wasn't doing any good activities that can distract myself. And I was really desiring for that, but I couldn't do that for like a whole year. And after I got into the race and I came to the United States, it was really hard for me because I was international and um, a lot of people were from ba different backgrounds and we had to ma wear masks all the time and couldn't really see each other's face or face or expressions and maybe that made us too um, hard to get along with each other. So I was really desiring for like um, something that I could interact with people not only physically but also like emotionally. <laughs> wow, it's so cool. Is it making a difference if I like move my face? So I made this um, wearable gadget, which is instrument. Um, it depends. It can play music depending on like where you touch. So for example, if you touch my shoulder, it plays like violin sound. If you touch my um, chin, it plays like soprano voice. However, it synchronizes everything. So it feels like you're listening to one long song. And depending on like the audience, you can create a different music. Um, however, that wasn't like a real purpose, but the real purpose is just um, using this gadget to interact with people and get close to each other because it's really hard to even though like with your best friends it's it's really hard to touch um, and it's kind of like very sensitive um, body part to touch like chin or like shoulders um, if I think about any my like, friendships um, I think I've never touched my friends that's um, intimately or like even like I didn't get really closely to my friends. I did this with the stranger and also I did this performance with my 10 years, more than 10 years, 
friend, and I thought I knew that person really well. However, after this kind of really short performance, I realized that oh, I didn't really know that person that well. Because, for example, there was one cohort. I thought she has a um, really really strong opinion, and she's like very loud and very stubborn, but. Um, when we start that performance, she was very careful, and she asked me. Can we start with fingers? Sure. Can I start with your finger, and can I gradually um, touch you? And she was very um, kind of sensitive and very careful. So that was the part that I've never seen from her. Um, so that broke my stereotype about her, and I could get more information. Using nonverbal conversation during the performance and um, more data about that person using the touch. I love the finger noises. It's like I'm playing the piano, but you're the piano <laughs> and you're playing back. <laughs> It was really a heartwarming experience, and it's been a while that they touched someone during the COVID era, and it was a great opportunity to feel that intimate feeling again and that warm feeling again. And they felt like, well, I became like a human again. <laughs>